February the 16th, 2022. Guys, you're looking at the largest solar explosion in this solar cycle, number 25, so far. It's a backside flare. It is not coming towards our planet. If it was, we would probably not have any satellites left because of the size of this thing. And so, what is happening? Again, solar cycle 25, largest explosion. It goes back to Malachi. I can't help but refer to the very truth of what we're seeing getting ready. And I think this is a warning shot from God to the evil that's on this planet. The people that are trying to completely encompass the planet and AI-controlled satellites to control you and me. This is the CME tracker. Earth is here in the yellow. The sun's in the center. You can see by the color code the other planets and the satellites. Check this out. So the blast is back, again, not coming towards our planet. It's called a far side or a back side blast. And in the orbit of Earth, you'll notice a red square trailing it. That is the satellite that we just got those side burst images from. There are more impressive images that we're going to look at right here from Soho, Lasco 2. This goes back, uh, goes back a few days, starting at the 13th. Check this out. A few solar explosions to the right of the sun. Get ready. Now, I slowed those down so that you could actually see it. The explosion was so fast that it was just a blur. Take a look at this again. The sun is represented by the white circle in the center of this. There's your first shot. And then what you're looking at is in the red is an occulter disk. And on this particular satellite, Soho Lasco, uh, it is... Uh, blocking the sunlight, kind of like holding your uh, uh, your hand up to the sun so you can see what's up in the trees. You know, it's blinding you. But the size of the sun is a white circle. And look how large that explosion is compared to our sun. And we're looking at uh, kill shot potential. Guys, uh, all the satellites, Malachi 4. You've got to read those four short chapters in the last book of the Old Testament. And if you've got, as we look at the nation's weather tonight, which is controlled by the solar weather, there's every drop of wind and rain and climate and everything else you see is controlled to a massive degree by solar wind and these explosions that you're seeing. But we're setting up for a cooling front moving across the southeast and severe weather starting tonight and going in through tomorrow night. And that includes snow and possibly some ice up through the uh, northeast central section of the uh, country. We'll take a look at that. This is where your moisture's at. Here's what they're putting out tonight. In the light pink, guys, those are winter storm warnings. You can see those moving through uh, the central part of the nation and the blue on both sides. You're dealing with winter weather advisories. Below that, into Mississippi and Alabama and further south into Texas, you're seeing these uh, wind advisories and wind warnings because, and we're seeing it here now. It's been a beautiful day. Just before dark, it started clouding up a few sprinkles, but we're in about nine acres of very tall pines, and you can hear the wind. Believe me, I love it, but uh, it's picking up. And this is going to change into possible tornado warnings as we, and watches as we go through the night, especially into Texas. You're, the bright pink, those are red flag warnings. Don't burn, high wind, the entire thing drought. Tonight, Wednesday night, starting uh, in the Texas region, in the darker areas, you can see that from I-20 moving west of Dallas up towards Oklahoma City. That's the highest risk area. The tornado threat, flooding downpours, hail, powerful wind gust, uh, storm max up to 80 miles per hour. Going into Thursday and Thursday night, it moves to the east. Here in my area, Jackson, Little Rock, Nashville, up into Kentucky. Tornado threats, again, flooding downpours, damaging wind gusts up to 80 miles per hour. Everything's just moving east. And as it moves further north from this, you can, guys, you can see here in Mobile, Montgomery, Chattanooga, it says major cities like New Orleans, Jackson, Mississippi, Memphis, and Nashville, Tennessee, Montgomery, Alabama, and even Atlanta are at risk for severe weather Thursday into the evening. About 20 million people could be impacted. Now, 
flood risk. Wednesday night through Thursday night, this is encompassing both days, torrential downpour, snow melt, small river and stream flooding, reduced visibility, and travel delays. Guys, what's going to happen is the temperature is going to be changing on top of all this moisture, and you're going to start seeing some snow and icing conditions along this corridor. Wednesday night through Thursday night, arrival times are shown locally. This is for snow. 11 p.m. tonight, you've got this area between these dotted black lines that include Chicago up across Lake Michigan. Then going into 11 a.m. in the morning from St. Louis uh, up into Canada. 5 p.m. Thursday, started uh, in, getting into Toronto, Montreal. And it goes on, and we'll look at the amount of snow that we're dealing with here. Because you've got moisture moving up out of the Gulf, and some of it's coming off the uh, Pacific Ocean. Uh, storm max total is up to 24 inches, 12 to 18 inches in that darker blue area. Coming out of there, 6 to 12, 3 to 6, and 1 to 3 inches in that section. So, guys, 18 inches of snow is a lot in a 24-hour period. Now, freezing, kind of in the same area, a little north of some of the moisture, but uh, St. Louis, Wednesday night, Chicago, Indianapolis, Detroit going into Thursday, you go going up through Syracuse and up into Quebec City. Icy spots, rapid changes to road conditions. Here's the strong winds Thursday, that's tomorrow. Peak gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour, dangerous cross winds, uh, potential wind damage, localized power outages, AccuWeather local storm max, uh, 70 mile per hour winds. That's enough, guys. Uh, to uh, take out your power lines and put some limbs down. So you're going to have to pay attention starting tonight, especially coming out of Texas and moving through Thursday and Thursday night up the East Coast. I'm hoping this will be one of the last really cold fronts that we see. I'm, there's always going to be more, but this one's going to be intense. You, you're dealing with 18 inches of snow. And uh, the threat of tornadoes through 11 states, 20 million people. But it, the weather's about to change and get better. So that's great if you're a farmer, if you're into, uh, growing your own food. And especially this year when you really need to be doing it, it's time to move to spring. Now, the further south, the quicker that's going to come. But guys, there are problems and there's oppression across the planet. And we know where that's coming from. And when we look at that sunspot behind the sun on the opposite side, throwing out these type of CMEs, when that angel pours that sun out and that kingdom goes into darkness, guys, it's going to be a big change. There may not be any power, but there also will be no controlling satellite AI. And people will be going back to basic survival. And for you guys that have prepared... It's going to be much easier. But do think about the, the fact that Internet, a lot of communication, when this happens, will be gone. And that's kind of the time, and really before that, when you want to round up the wagons of your family and your friends. Because things will happen after that. There are a lot of people that have not prepared will... Um, Join gangs, just like you see in Mad Max or Escape from New York. This thing, this is about to get real. And you need to be prepared. Again, round uh, circle of wagons. Watch for God to take control of it. But understand that by doing that, it's just like the uh, parable about the tares. When the... Uh, Angel saw that there were tares, or, or, or actually they were seeds of Satan that were cast among the wheat, the good seed. They said, should we pluck it up? And God told them, no, because you would destroy everything. Wait till the harvest is ripe. We will pull the tares first. For you guys that thinking about flying out early. We will pull the tares first and bundle them for the fire. Then we'll get the wheat for God's barn, for his children. And the, 
that coincides perfectly with uh, Christ telling us that Antichrist will come first. Don't and they will be coming to deceive you. Don't be deceived. But there's so many people now that are being deceived on certain fronts that we have been seeing for the last two years that just fall in line that many will wonder after the beast. The whole world, except for God's elect. And that if not for those elect, if God, if Christ hadn't stepped in, no flesh would be saved, even the elect but God is going to take this and this separation of the tares and the wheat is going to be by the sun it's going to be Malachi chapter 4 Shemesh read it and read uh, if you don't have a copy of uh, eSword it's available free on our website at bpearthwatch.com and you can look in Malachi and actually look into the Greek excuse me the Hebrew words of the Old Testament and see that Shemesh is not the son of God, but the son, the physical son in the sky. And we just saw last week, 40 out of 49 of Elon Musk's Starlink satellites that's going to be attempted to tie in with Neuralink, knocked out of the sky by solar flare. A weak one. The one we just saw was not a weak one. It's what many have called for years would be a kill shot. I think it's an early warning. I think everyone needs to be prepared. God will put his protective hand over you, but you need to be prepared to survive on the very basics, just like back in the Garden of Eden, where there, there was no TV, no Internet. Just you, your family, and nature. That's where we're going, so be prepared for it. It's a heads up, be safe. Planet route. Now, um, 